Antonov, AN-22, Soviet Union. Three view drawing of the Antonov AN-22 largest transport in the range developed by the Antonov Design Bureau. Below, the AN-22 was first flown in 1965 and this outsized transport is used in small numbers in both military and civilian guise. The world's largest aircraft at the time of its appearance, but subsequently surpassed in size by the Lockheed C-5A Galaxy and Boeing 747, the AN-22 Antheus was developed in the Soviet Union as a heavy military and commercial freighter. The first of five prototypes of the AN-22 was flown on 27 February 1965, two of these prototypes being used by Aeroflot on experimental freight services in 1967, and a commercial production version was subsequently placed in service by the airline primarily to undertake special supply operations in the more remote and underdeveloped regions of the Soviet Union and elsewhere. The AN-22 carries a crew of 5 to 6, and there is a compartment for 28 to 29 passengers immediately aft of the flight deck and separated from the main hold by a bulkhead. There are rails in the roof of the hold for four traveling gantries, these continuing rearward on the underside of the large door, which, forming the underside of the rear fuselage, is raised upward inside the fuselage to facilitate the loading of large vehicles over the ramp. Two winches used in conjunction with the gantries each have a 5,500 pound or 2,500 kilogram capacity. Approximately 100 transports of this type were believed to have been delivered for military and civil use by late 1974, wherein production ended. So here's the Antonov AN-22. And uh, there's two sets of propellers on each engine. That is, eight propellers on an engine. So there's that massive Antonov, and uh, there's the drawing of it, and that's an Antonov production.